Well, you guys are going back on the road. What do you think the challenge is Saturday? Uh, to try not to, I guess, I think just locking in more defensively, um, especially at the beginning of the game, and really just trying to make that um, something we can lay our hat on. Um, I think just trying to make the other team play um, worse than us uh, defensively, just trying to really lock in and, and really guard. Um, I think you know we did that the first time against Oklahoma, um, and I think that was the main reason why we were successful, um, was just really trying to lock in and guard um, for 40 minutes and really just not allowing guys to go off and, and, and go um, have career nights against us. Are you still looking at the Big 12 standings that you might have to win at, or what do you think about the race? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, that would be pretty hard for us to kind of look at the race and be like, we got to win out. I think a better approach would be just to take it um, one game at a time and just really try to do, you know, try to think of it as, you know, um, we're just trying to win this game, trying to go 1-0. Uh, I feel like it's a better mindset, a more attainable mindset. What has this week been for you guys uh, in terms of managing rest, and how does it compare to after previous Saturday Monday turnarounds you've had so far? Are you talking about? Were you talking about um, before the Texas Tech game or now? Now. Oh, uh, I think coach switched up a little bit um, by having us do a little bit of practice yesterday. Um, you know, we did a lot of defensive work, um, and, and and obviously I think that was warranted uh, given our performance. On Monday and so I think it was good for us to get a little bit of a sweat in um, yesterday um, just so that you know coming here today you know I feel like everybody will be a little bit more loose and not um, you know uh, a little I guess lagged from from uh, having two days off and so I think that'll be good for us and hopefully uh, we can turn that into a good day of practice today. Hunter I think you guys are uh, last in the conference and made three pointers and I think coaches talked about it being more of emphasis before the conference season started. Do you feel like that's something that has been kind of emphasized in the last couple of weeks and is there something you guys can do differently to get more uh, quality looks? I wouldn't say it's been emphasized. Um, I think it's it's known that we aren't, you know, probably the you know the the warriors when it comes to the threes. Um, but I feel like we have guys who are capable. Um, I think guys really just play within themselves. Um, I don't think we have too many just straight shooters other than maybe like Johnny and Nick. I feel like a lot of the other guys shooting is something that they do well, but that's not what they're known for. Um, you look at a guy like Dewan who is shooting very highly from three, I think, or well, at least that's what it feels like. Um, but he only takes like maybe two or three a game and that's because you know he's best at getting downhill, shooting the floater, getting to the lane or making others better. And so then you look at a guy like Kevin McCuller who I'm not sure what he's shooting, but he's at least in the 30s. And, um, you know, he's not known for shooting, but he can definitely, I'm very confident in him, him knocking down a three. But, you know, his best attribute is getting downhill, you know, drawing contact, trying to get to the line. And so, um, you know, that might not be our strongest suit, but I feel very confident um, in guys' shooting ability. Hey, you've had two games in a row now without Kev. Have you learned much about how to play without him and, and what do you want to see from the rest of the guys if, if you have to do it again? Um, I think just um, in terms of uh, learning without Kev, it's just obviously um, you know his importance and how important he is to the team because um, he does so much offensively, defensively from a leadership standpoint uh, to where we definitely miss him out there. Um, but just for guys uh, to continue staying confident, I would say, um, you know, don't lose the confidence no matter how much you're playing. I think that's something that I can take with me as well. Um, but uh, like I said, yeah, just trying to make sure guys stay confident and if they have built up any momentum um, in the previous two games without him, I just try to keep it going because we'll need everybody um, to come down the stretch. It, it's pretty obvious that he has his hands all over, you know, pretty much every category, every stat. When he's out there, he can do so many things. What 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 does it feel like without him out there? I mean, can you take us through that a little bit? How 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 does it feel not knowing he's out there? Yeah, it, it can be tough because you know he's he's one of those guys who's kind of like a pressure release almost mm -hmm. to where you know when the shot clock's going down um, and he has the ball, you can kind of feel pretty confident that you know he's going to come up with a decent shot. And um, I think that's something that you know when you have a guy like that who's averaging over 19 points a game, um, it can be. 
um, some big shoes to fill, especially for for the guys who are coming in who haven't really played as many minutes as you know, like as um, uh, obviously as Kevin, but like as a normal bench guy. Um, and so uh, it, it, it's definitely tough. But I think defensively, just knowing how solid he is and how good of a defender he is, just really relying on him, um, not having him out there could definitely um, be a challenge for sure. Hunter, what is it going to take just to kind of stay consistent, right? It's kind of been a little up and down, just kind of like a roller coaster, if you will. How do you just kind of stay consistent over the last, like the last couple of games and obviously going into March? Um, I would say just taking every possession um, ultra seriously and, and, and treating it like, you know, each possession could really uh, determine the game, I think. Um, you know, I think there's some times where, you know, we'll take a couple of possessions off in here or there, and then that can really – snowball into you know a run and I think that's kind of where we're getting stuck sometimes is you know we'll play good for majority of game or in, in spurts but then other spurts we give up um, like in the Kansas State game we were up 11 and then we give up on 11-0 run right after that and so he's treating um, each possession each possession really importantly and I think just kind of really locking in on each possession and just trying to get that one stop or that one basket um, each time. Yesterday was a tragic day. Did you know anybody that went to the parade or any of the team? Uh, no, thankfully. Um, I think everybody was here. Uh, you know, fortunately for us, I think we had practice like, um, uh, I know that we had practice around like two ish, and so um, it was going to be hard for guys to go and come back. So uh, thankfully, none of us were over there for that. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. You mentioned the defensive part for practice specifically. Like, what are some of the drills you guys were doing? What was the point of emphasis defensively for you guys yesterday? Uh, just really just guard five on five. We do a lot of that. We don't really, um, per se, do a lot of drills. It's more just kind of like guarding, um, you know, the scout team five on five and kind of making adjustments on the fly. And I feel like that, you know, is really helpful because, you know, it makes it so it's more translatable than just doing a drill. I think, you know, sometimes guys can get caught in, um, doing specific drills and then um, they're not able to translate it to actual five and five and then translate that to an actual game. And so um, just more guarding, um, working on pick and roll defense, uh, working on closeouts and stuff like that is what we, we were emphasizing. All right, sir. Thanks. Thanks.